Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to share with you how you can apply your Zoom with a drop bar. Now before you're going to apply your Zoom to your face, please also make sure to also wash your face with a gentle and suitable cleanser for your skin type and needs to also have a freshly washed and clean face and then move on to the Zoom application. Now in case you also should not know how you can wash your face with a cleanser, I have several videos for you in the top right corner which you also can check out if you also should feel the need. Now once you also have washed your face, you now can also move on to your Zerum application. First of all, I also recommend reading on the back of the packaging on how you should also use your Zerum like, and also have a closer look on what they also recommend on how, where you also are going to apply your Zerum because sometimes they do specifically mention like please do not use it on the eye contour or if you can use it on the eye contour then you also know this already please do not get it into your eyes nor into your mouth please do not use it on the eyelids such like little details are important to also know depending also on what zone that you're using and if it also does give you such specific instructions please also follow them Sometimes it also does mention how much you also would need to use of that specific zone. If it also gives you a guide for this, please also stick to it. Generally speaking, you also can say for face zones, using about two to five drops is also a great guide on how you can also like measure out how much you would need to use for your face and neck. But now what's also important is also the application methods. I'm going to also share with you three application methods and I'm also going to demonstrate it on my face so that you also can see it visually. Just keep in mind that there's not really a right or wrong. It's all about what works the best for you. And so once you also have seen all three application methods, try them out at home and then also see again what also works the best for you. Now, first of all, what you also have to keep in mind is also the texture of your zone. If you usually have a zone that has a thicker texture, you can say that you already need less product because you have more time to also blend it all over your face and neck. However, if you have a zone that also has a thinner texture, using also a bit more is advised, otherwise it won't be enough and also can absorb fairly quickly into the skin before you even have blended it all over your face. This is also where the application may change depending also on the texture of your zone. If you have, for example, a zone at home that has a thicker texture, you basically can say that any application method will also work with a thicker texture zone because you have enough time to also blend it all over your face and you also do not need to use too much product. However, if you also have a zone at home that has a thinner texture, some application methods can become a bit trickier and this is also where you would need to change the application method. And this is also now what I wanted to share with you. So I want to get started with also my first application method, which also would be adding a few drops on the fingertips. I went with uh, three drops on the fingertips, then I like to rub my fingertips together and then apply it to my face. Keep in mind also the way that you're going to apply it to your face can change. Either start patting it onto the skin, mainly also on the larger areas, or you can also go ahead and blend it all over your face and neck. Or maybe just do a mix of both where you're going to get started with patting it and then start blending it all over the face. Whatever way of blending works the best for you to also get the product to your face and neck, this is also the application that you're going to do. So, and once you also have blended the serum all over your face and neck, make sure that you have used enough so that you also can apply it all over, but also make sure that you're not overdoing it because if you're using too much of it, the product is likely to sit on top of the skin because it's not able to fully absorb into the skin, which can not only feel uncomfortable, but also may lead to peeling. So this was also now one application method. The next one would be using also a few drops immediately also onto your face. If that's something that you prefer to do, go ahead and do so. That's fine. Like so. And then again, either pat it or also blend it all over your face. So, and once you also have applied your serum all over your face, then this is already another application method which you could do. 
Now, those were also now uh, basically two application methods which you can easily do if you have a thicker Xerom at home, like a thicker texture Xerom at home. Another application method is also now adding a few drops in the palm of your hand, rub your hands together and then apply it all over your face. This is also an application method that can work really well if you have a thicker texture Xerom. However, if you also have a thinner texture Xerom at home, this is also an application method which you may prefer doing because if you would use a thinner texture Xerom all also immediately onto your fingertips or also on your face. It first of all can run between your fingers, you have no product left on your fingertips before so reaching your face. And also if you would apply a thinner texture zone immediately onto your face, it has already probably absorbed into the skin before you were able to blend it. So this is where you would need to adjust the application method because the texture of your zone has changed. And this is also where I'm now going to use a few drops of a thinner texture zone and use it also in the palm of my hand so that I'm able to also use enough product and also still have enough product left on my hands so that I can evenly apply it all over my face and neck. Again, which can be padding, blending or both together. So, and this also would be another application method which you also could do. Again, there's no right or wrong, it's all about what works the best for you. However, I do also just want to give you like a little tip or like a little advice to it that usually with thinner liquid asha, like serum textures, using it in the palm of your hand will work probably the best. If you now say, well, it also is going to absorb too much product when I'm using it in the palm of my hand. Well, this may be, then first of all, please take care of your dry hands. But second of all, you still can also use a bit more because the way that I prefer this method the most when also having a thinner texture zerum at home is because you can gather the product in the palm of your hand, then rub your hands together and then you can evenly apply it because this way you are also able to blend it all over and you're not missing out on any areas because then the zerum can also evenly absorb into the skin and so those are also the little tips that I can share with you see how it goes try them all out and then stick to the one that also works the best with the zone that you also have at home and then once you also have applied your zone all over your face then you now can also go ahead move on to your moisturizer if you should feel the need don't forget your sunscreen during daytime and apply it evenly all over your face to also protect the skin and that's already how simple you can keep it Again, please don't forget to read the directions on the back of the packaging, follow the guide. And then again, please do not use too much product so that it's going to sit on top of the skin, but use enough so that you can evenly apply it and adjust the application method which also works the best for the serum that you have at home. If you also now find this video helpful, if you also enjoyed it, if you find this guide helpful, then please also don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. And this is already what I wanted to share with you. Thank you so much for watching and I also will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring. Bye.